The old Duke penned a medal on my father and sent him off to Dunwall. You should have strangled young Luca in the tub, old man. Help thugs like the Howlers, or the Zealots from the Abbey. I just don't know. Maybe I cut them both down. Howlers and Overseers. This dentistry model reminds me of the Overseer masks in Morley. Maybe I'll have a dentist in Dunwall rip the teeth from Delilah's mouth. Time is an odd thing. Growing up, I was excited about what the years might hold, about the places I'd visit. I recall childhood moments with my mother on her throne and my father, a figure of mystery. I remember the rat plague, mother's passing, and all that happened at the Hound Pits pub. Now this. I just want to put an end to Delilah's reign and get my father back. This house holds her secrets. Delilah pulled herself up from tragedy, grabbing the Empire and changing it to her liking. With Duke Luca Abel, she transformed a coddled dilettante into a schemer who helped her take my throne. She's made herself immortal, and even my father's sword couldn't end her life. I'm going to undo all she's done. And next time, I'll hold on to the things I cherish. Just a bit tighter. Time is an odd thing. Growing up, I was excited about what the years might hold. About the Empire I'd someday rule. I recall childhood moments with my mother on her throne and my father, a figure of mystery. I remember the rat plague, my mother's murder, and all that happened at the Hound Pits pub. Now this. I just want to put an end to Delilah's life and get my father back. This house holds Delilah's secrets. She pulled herself up from tragedy, grabbing the Empire and changing it to her liking. With Duke Luca Abel, she transformed a coddled dilettante into a schemer who helped her take my throne. She's made herself immortal, and even my father's sword couldn't stop her breath. I'm going to find out how she did these things. The next time someone shoves a sword through her heart, it'll be me, and I expect her to die. This reminds me of something my mother had from when she was young. I wonder if I could build one of these large enough to hold Parliament. Are you ready to leave? The dust is wreaking havoc on my throat. Yes. I found a way to get around Paolo and Burn. And I've been to Stilton's house. Let's go. Yes. I paid a visit to Burn and Paolo. And I've been to Aramis Stilton's house. We can go. I regret my affiliation. Are you ready for this? I've been inside a dozen castles and a hundred mansions, and they're the same everywhere. The Duke's palace can't be anything worse than Lady Brisby's social afternoons. Getting inside might not be the hard part. The Duke doesn't exactly run a tight ship. Taking down Duke Abel is only part of the puzzle. Killing off Duke Abel is only part of the puzzle. You've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for Delilah. You I've got a map of the Grand Palace for you, and I know something that may be useful. There's a hidden lever in the pantry that opens a passage to the Duke's vault. If he's keeping anything precious for Delilah, I suspect that's where it'll be. Beyond that, good hunting. I'll see what I can do. I know things in Karnaka are fragile, and I've got a lot to think about after all this is done. Everyone who crosses my path on the way to Duke of Bell is going to regret it. They all deserve to bleed.
Hey, you. You seem different. Can you help me out with a bit of coin? You're a good one. Maybe I can find another way to neutralize the Duke. Get ready to pay, Duke of Bell. People of Karnaka, this is your rightful ruler, Empress Emily Drexel Leela Caldwin. I came here to Karnaka, the Jewel of the South, with one purpose in mind to set things right with the Duke of Sirkonos, Luca Abel, who has of late been deceived by the pretender to my throne, Delilah Copperspoon. Duke Abel and I are old friends, and at his heart, he is a loyal ally and servant to the Empire. I am your Empress, but my father is Sir Conan, and your blood flows through my veins. I will leave you now and return to Dunwall, but know this, we have parlayed, and the Duke now understands the crisis in full. My hope is to restore my throne in Dunwall with haste. I bid you farewell, and ask you to maintain your faith and loyalty. I will address you again soon. People of Karnaka, this is your rightful ruler. Empress Emily Drexel Leela Caldwin. I came here to Karnaka, the Jewel of the South, with one purpose in mind. To depose the Duke of Sirkonos. To make him pay for his treason against me. But also, for his crimes against you, the people of this great nation. I am your Empress, but my father is Sir Conan, and your blood flows through my veins. I will leave you now and return to Dunwall. But know this, Duke Luca Abel is dead. My hope is to resolve this crisis and establish a new ruler here in Sirkonos with haste, causing as little disruption as possible. I bid you farewell and ask you to maintain your faith and loyalty. I will address you again soon. Pulling around. Kieran, sir, we were confused by your most recent response. The Duke was, well, he was furious. He sent me to interview you about your progress. One of the maids took me for a walk. We dug beetles in the park with shiny green shells. I don't understand, Mr. Jindosh. Working with Anton Sokolov, were you successful at lowering the cost of clockwork soldier production? The Duke is expecting a reduction of 80 to 90 percent, based on your own estimates. She let me keep a few of them in a jar. I pulled off their legs. Ah, uh, that's interesting. Let me remind you, as Grand Inventor, you've been given everything you requested. But with that comes a responsibility for deadlines. An expectation of progress? Wait, I remember the under... Taking you're talking about now, yes, yes. Excellent. So what can I tell the Duke? I had a visitor, I think. Or maybe they came for Sokolov. It's hard to recall the details. Anton wouldn't help, uh... but I was close to finding a way to... The, the difference engine is inscribed in copper along the concave surface of the inner head mechanism. But wait. I can't. It, it slips away. The beetles we found today, I'm going to give them all names. This is useless. 
What am I gonna tell Duke Luca? This is the thing Ashworth made to hold Delilah's spirit. This is it. We must release me from this dead vessel. Only then will you be able to trap Delilah's spirit. I don't know how I can do this. You were all I ever wanted. I stayed as long as I could, trying to guide you. The world is better for your influence. Be at peace, Mother. I will honor you, always. Oh, Molly. I love you. And this is the final fault I carry into my hands. So it's done. Now to take the last step back to God. To my half-sister, only the flesh remains. Maybe this is the thing Ashworth made to hold Delilah's spirit. This is it. Release me from this dead vessel, free of this poison world, and trap Delilah's spirit. Do it. You were all I ever wanted. Let me go. I've seen too much of this world. There is blood on your hands. I did it for you. To keep your throne. For your legacy. My daughter. You are becoming everything I fought against. I love you. But let me go. So it's done. There. Now to wait. Faded into nothing. Her reward is peace. You will never gain back what you lost here. You are alone now. I'm your only family. I inhabit two impossible places at once. Never gain back, back what you lost here. Did, Did you, you think, think she'd be pleased with what you'd become? You are now. now. I'm your only family. Every time you drew your blade, a part of her died. I inhabit two impossible places at once. So, is that it? The fall of Karnaka. From now on, the Duke will be guided by better stars. Back to the dreadful whale, then, and on toward Dunwall. So, is that it? The fall of Karnaka. Duke of Bell is dead. Long live whatever comes next. Back to the dreadful whale. I grew up with this broken skyline, the muted colors and the way the light falls. It's Dunwall, but it's not. Have I changed, or does everything just look different when you're not wearing a crown? Whatever grand scheme you've got underway now, Delilah, you were smart when you stole this place from me. You knew who among my people to corrupt, and you took away my strongest ally, my father. But you didn't know me. You only saw a sheltered princess. You never thought I'd fight back. You don't know me, Delilah. But you will. My life story changed when an assassin named Dao drove a sword through my mother's chest. Now I'm coming home with the same purpose in mind. Is this what Dao felt? Planning the approach? Wondering how it would feel to kill an empress? Whatever grand scheme you've got underway now, Delilah, you were smart when you stole this place from me. You knew who among my people to corrupt, and you took away my strongest ally, my father. But you didn't know me. You only saw a sheltered princess, 
You never thought I'd fight back. You don't know me, Delilah. But you will. I must admit, this campaign has been conducted with far more restraint than I would have expected. I know the stakes. But was it really necessary to cut all the throats between Karnaka and Dunwall? Remarkable what Delilah's accomplished, coming from such a background, taking the throne. You know where to go to find Delilah, but how will you handle her? It's my hope that you have some sort of plan. It could be tricky. She might not give me any choice but to fight. And Delilah deserves whatever she gets. At my age, I've come to distrust words like deserve. It's probably too late to dwell on regrets. Yes, you're right. In any case, please watch yourself. I've come to care a great deal about you. Goodbye, Anton. Now that we're here, I suppose you know where to go and what to do. You've killed a legion. So what's one more? If anyone deserves it, it's Delilah. She's got so much to answer for. At my age, I've come to distrust words like deserve. It's probably too late to dwell on regrets. Everyone feels some regret. Atop a long line. Mine is now chiefly that I'm out of time. Take care of yourself. Goodbye, Anton. The Duke's brother so long ago, would any of this have happened? Hey, there you are. I wanted a chance to talk. Megan. People have called me that for a long time, but it's a lie. My name is Billy Lurk. Everyone's full of secrets. Why do I feel like you've got more to say? Yeah. I can't believe I'm telling you this, but you deserve the truth. I'll just say it. Fifteen years ago, I ran with a mercenary gang. We got paid to kill people. Some who deserved it. Some who didn't. The boss pulled me up from the Dunwall slums when I had nothing and had run out of rope. I... This is hard to admit. Whatever it is, spit it out. Our leader was the assassin Dow, and I was part of the crew. Our last big job together, we were paid to... You helped Dow kill my mother? Yes. I don't know what else to say. I've lived a very long time wishing I could take that day back. But I can't. I can't ever forgive you for what you did. But suffering has a way of twisting people. You're a different woman today than you were then. Yeah. We've all been hurt. But not all of us did what I did. Or became what Delilah became. I know you'll never get over it. But neither will I. I hope not. Goodbye, Billy. I'm taking the skiff, and I'll go alone from here. I can't deny it. Traveling with you... has changed me. I know you want to face her alone, but good luck. Killers in back alleys. Killers fighting over thrones. What does it matter? Megan, I'm taking the skiff. I want to go to Dunwall Tower alone. All right. Do you know how you're going to kill Delilah? If you leave her alive, she'll come for you sooner or later. I'll do whatever's necessary. 
No one takes what's mine. Just make sure you don't hesitate. Delilah's dangerous. You don't have to worry about that. Delilah's a mad dog. She tore out a piece of her soul to get her way. What else do you need to hear? Want some advice? Don't get your throat cut. You've served a purpose, Megan. old man. Take me to the Mole Tower. Bring me back to the cage of my own chest. Oh, I will. Delilah will be made mortal again. You let your mother slip into oblivion. Do you know where my mother's resting? In a child's coffin. Her skin lids tucked beneath her because I couldn't afford a proper burial. While my father rests in the Imperial Crypt. You're lying. You still can't accept it, little girl. Your father was born a nobody. I inhabit your mother's heart, and my body walks the halls of your crumbling palace and sleeps between your sheets. If I learned anything in Karnaka, it's that birth shouldn't give anyone the right to rule. You earn it every day by serving the people who need you. Now I'm coming to end your tyranny, Delilah. And my body walks the halls of your crumbling palace and sleeps between your sheets. If I learned anything in Karnaka, it's that you only deserve to keep your throne if you're ready to roll out a red carpet of blood before it. We'll be face to face soon, and I'll end you, Delilah. Dunwall. Those of you surviving here in the shadow of the tower where I was born. Under Delilah, you've endured much over the last weeks. But now your rightful Empress has returned. And I will expend my last breath returning stability and peace to your lives. On this I swear. To the people of Dunwall, cowering in the ruins of our great city, hiding in the shadow of the tower where I was born, your rightful Empress has returned, and I will expend my last breath ending Delilah's reign. She will pay dearly for what she has done. On this I swear. thought I'd miss this place so much. Delilah's somewhere inside the tower. Hope she's ready to die. Made my living as a killer, 
One of the few who've heard the outsider's voice. I murdered an empress, but saved her daughter, who will one day rule the Empire. Those were my choices. I'm ready for what comes. Is this Ramsay? And so a man born with the face of the Duke took his seat in Karnaka, ruling with empathy for those not born in a palace. The people were surprised by this sudden turn, but did not question their good fortune. In Dunwall, without ever realizing it, Delilah passed into an imagined world where her father's promises were fulfilled and her subjects would love her forever as she sailed the ocean with a great fleet and trekked across the Pendicean wastes. While in the true capital, Emily the Just, Emily the Clever, ruled for decades over a prosperous, mended empire with Corvo Atano by her side. In his day, Anton Sokolov fired the engines of industry, hurtling the empire into a more sophisticated age. He dallied with nobles, wayward artists, and great inventors alike, drinking in all that life could offer. Leaving Dunwall for the last time, he headed to the cold north, contented at last, on a final voyage to take him home. There are things that never change, no matter how hard you try. Questions you must answer. As Megan Foster faded from the world, Billy Lurk stepped from her shadow, setting out to discover her truest self, and seeking the closest thing she'd ever known to family. And so the Duke's reign in Sirkonos came to an abrupt end, with the old order burned to the ground. Times were hard, and the people left in the rubble had no choice but to claw and fight for every last scrap. In Dunwall, with the death of Delilah Copperspoon, her coven lost its power and was smashed. Their disastrous coup brought to an end. The rightful Empress once again seized her throne. And so it was that Emily the Vengeful rooted out the last of those who had betrayed her and ruled over her empire with her legendary father, Corvo Atano, standing by her side. In his day, Anton Sokolov lit the fires of industry, starting a great consuming blaze at the heart of the empire. He saw his machines used for war and oppression, watching the powerful crush those beneath them. Leaving Dunwall for the last time, he turned to the cold north, his energy spent at last, only an echo of the man he'd aspired to be.